So the, and the principle extends even beyond that. For my sales closing company, as well as what I've seen with my clients when, when they're speaking to their clients or they're speaking to other entrepreneurs, the reason most entrepreneurs don't scale to seven and eight figures is they're, they're scared to spend money on marketing, even when they have a flywheel. A lot of people don't have a compound interest flywheel, but for the guys that do, they're scared to spend money on marketing because they, they think it's an expense. Most entrepreneurs don't understand business at all, uh, especially your lawyers, your dentists, your uh, professionals who don't even really consider themselves an entrepreneur. They consider themselves a dentist or lawyer, things of that nature. And they look at a $1,500 marketing spend to pay for ads for that month, let's say, $50 a day, which is a pretty low start. And then another 2000 to the ads guy or a campaign to do $10,000 over the course of three months to buy X amount of um, newsletter subscribers. Okay. And I'm not saying to do this prior to being tested. You can test it with $200, right? See that there's a conversion, um, see that the, the deal is profitable or whatever. And they're scared to spend because they view it as an expense. Oh, the money, the big win is, is getting the money in my bank account and squirreling it away or keeping it in the business bank account, or I'm going to squirrel it into gold and Bitcoin and property and stuff that's safe. You know, I'm going to be smart with my money. I'm going to put it in a 401k and that's all well and good when you're already rich. Okay. When you're already rich, but when you're not doing seven figures or on pace to eight figures, right? Let's say you're just doing six, six figures. Okay, this quote unquote large reboot is coming and nobody's safe. AI is coming. No one's safe on that. As far as I'm concerned, seven figures is the new six figure business. And for guys that are scared to spend, it means they're more confident that that money's better served in the bank, losing 8% on inflation, than it is put into this money machine that's going to take them to seven. 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. And once it's out there in the marketing, right, to buy leads, to buy leads that are going to be new clients, they view that as a risk. And if it doesn't work right away, they view it as wasted money. As opposed to, I made an investment in finding what didn't work so that now I know better what's going to work. Right. I, and I'm going to try all the avenues. I'm going to try LinkedIn. I'm going to try YouTube. I'm, tr I'm going to try everything. I'm going to tweak and tailor the offer because I have no choice if I want to get to these wealth goals. Right. I'm willing to sacrifice six figures to make seven, to be on pace, to make eight. And I'm just moving money from my bank account to a CSV file. OK, that 85,000 um, client list CSV file is way better than Bitcoin in its best year, okay? You can do in business what Bitcoin did in its best year in a month and compound that and keep reinvesting that, okay? So even better is when that list becomes clients, right? For me, not everyone on my list is clients. There are a decent amount that are already clients or customers of bought things. Um, but let's take for an example the you know engineering company I'm working with my sales closing business. We've got a great list and we've got maybe 170 prospects in addition to our our current clients. I'd imagine they all be clients by the end of the year. And once they are in the client list, they're worth twenty-eight thousand to about three hundred thousand dollars per client per state. Let me say that again, 28,000 to $300,000 per client per state. There's a lot of money in this engineering game. You know, big projects going off, huge companies. Uh, it's a great space. And so my client has invested his money into buying a list, to using us to do the marketing and sales. But most importantly, and, and that list is very valuable, Okay, but once it gets into being a client, we're talking about 28K, 70K, 300K a year. And those clients are sticky. So he's going to get that for the next decade, assuming he does a good job. 
and the competitors are trash. So he's going to outperform the competitors in a big way. We aren't losing those clients unless those clients go out of business, right? So think of that level of investment where one client can get you $3 million over the next decade. So he's intelligently taking his money and moving it first into a list and then into our pipe drive. Okay, by the end of the year, our pipe drive is going to have 170, 180, perhaps more paying clients. Okay, that pipe drive and the contracts that we receive to do business with those clients and the subcontractor agreements and all the bullshit you have to sign. And that's, that's loaded in each of the contacts on pipe drive with the name, the email, uh, the notes about the client. Okay, that, that pipe drive is going to be worth millions of dollars per state. Right, with each state subcategorized in the pipe drive. Um, so he's converted his money into clients stored in the pipe drive. Okay. So that's a decamillion dollar pipe drive and, and series of contacts and um, contractor agreements. Is that making sense? Like you can't be thinking about this is this is what holds guys back. This is really, once you have something that's working, this is the biggest thing that holds guys back is they view it as a risk as opposed to, oh no, the actual risk is sitting here watching the tsunami of the AI and the reset come in and wipe people out and not making a fucking move. Okay. And even prior to this, most entrepreneurs aren't willing to spend in their deal. Grant Cardone says go all in and then go exponential and pull it out into real estate. And that's not a bad idea. Okay, you don't have to do all of that. I say, I say, you know, keep 50K, 100K in the tank or whatever, or 200K or 300K or 400K, you know, spread across and hedged out, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but once you have a hot one, and once you have something that you can put money into, don't think of it as wasting money or an expense or even, oh, I spent... 30,000 on an email list. No, you didn't spend it like it's out there and it's gone, like on booze, right? Like on something disposable that's just gone and you piss it out and, you know, you had a wild month in Dubai and you just spent it all, right? No, it's just been moved into a CSV file or into a pipe drive or into a YouTube subscriber count. And it is now an ATM for the next decade and it beats every type of investment hands down into the ground times 10,000. You know, you're, you do well in a early stage business. You're looking at like 10,000, 30,000% returns a year. Um, and it's the only way to get rich. All the other stuff, hedging out kitchen sink, that's all good to stay rich. And I'm going to drop how, exactly how to do that in my, in my upcoming net worth course, the game plan, um, eight figures, which I think is the new game plan 